this video I'm going to show how to modify the ECU on one of these newer bikes. This one here is a 2023 KTM 125SX, which is the first year the 125 is computer controlled with fuel injection. Okay. Uh, so you might ask yourself, so why would you want to modify the ECU on these? So historically bikes are like this with a carburetor on there and the carburetor allows you to change fuel by changing the size of the orifice of various um, areas within the carburetor that can affect the amount of fuel given at different times in the uh, RPM range. And that allows you some flexibility in terms of being able to do that. It's a mechanical means, meaning it's an orifice and not an electrical change that is being modified when you're jetting a carburetor on uh, one of the older two-stroke bikes. But on the modern bikes, that's not an option. Okay, You have a fuel injector that is controlling the amount of fuel that goes into the engine, and that is ultimately controlled by the ECU. Now, the ECU also controls other uh, parameters like timing, uh, et cetera. So it, it does allow you a little bit more um, capabilities in terms of what you can change. Um, the downside, though, is a lot of people say when comparing the fuel-injected KTM 125 to the older carbureted models, it had lost some power. It looks like the dyno numbers do show that. But as time goes on, we're having more and more manufacturers that are uh, modifying these ECUs. And um, another option, so you can actually, you can send these off to some companies and they will uh, reflash them for you uh, based on the modifications that you have to your bike. Okay, and then they'll send that back. You basically just plug that in and then it's going to work. Okay, uh, but what I chose to do is to purchase, so in this company does do that reflashing, and there's other, a few other companies that do as well. I think the reflashing of the ECU costs, I think it's on the order of about $300, okay? And then you have that program on your previously stock ECU. In this case, though, I have an actual module. I, I chose to do this because I believe I could use this on a second bike if I paid a little extra money. Um, for another tune, but in any case, I can use this one on this bike here. And I'm not going to go through the details on how to upload the programs onto here because they do a really good job. If you go to that website, they even have a video, they got a um, kind of a quick start guide uh, in terms of how to do that. So uh, I'm not going to duplicate that since they did a good job of it. But in any case, this. This module I bought in a kit that I think was just shy of $700, but it came with this module and that cylinder head with an insert, okay? So that is a kit. It even has a little bit different spark plug as well, okay? So that was a kit, I think just shy of $700. When you, I believe when you look at the pricing of this versus just sending your ECU in to have it reflashed, it's about $100 difference, okay? Uh, you got to factor in shipping for that, though, because you have to ship that to them and then ship it back to you. So there, there is that as well. Um, so anyways, this is just what I chose to do. So I went on the computer. I uploaded the program onto here, um, and now I can take this unit, uh, which they call a, a reflash module, and I can plug it in here. So this is a port on the front of the bike, on Enduros under the headlighter and motorbikes under the number plate, and there is, it's nice because there aren't other plugins that look like that, so there's really only one you can do that to. And then I'm going to be able to plug that in and then reflash my ECU. And they have two programs online currently. One is for a stock bike without the cylinder head modification. The other one is with the cylinder head modification. Now, they do comment that uh, the system works better with uh, their exhaust um, and the stock silencer. I have the FMF version here. 
I'm going to see if maybe I can modify my fuel parameters to make it work better with that, but but we'll see how that goes. And I'll, I'll test this out um, in upcoming video, kind of show what I th think of how it works. But it, it looks like from other reviews that it increases throttle response, top power, um, top end power, and really makes the bike more fun and rideable through the entire RPM range uh, based on the reviews that I have seen online. And they do, they do have a mount that can go on the handlebars. I am not doing that because you don't technically need it to be mounted, and it's another thing that can break. And um, I maintain this saying that if you don't crash every once in a while, you're not going fast enough. So in other words, I plan to crash, and I'd like not to break this, okay? Because um, it is not warranted against physical damage, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and get this... Um, reflashed. We'll give it a ride. We'll see how it performs. Uh, but that's just the intro to how you can go about modifying those. So it, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty neat process. This is kind of the new steps in um, modern dirt bikes. All right, so here it is, and paired with the device. And on this model, I did have to connect to the internet. I just used my phone's hotspot since I'm out in the garage. Um, but that is just a one time you have to do that. And then once this is all done, you will also want to reset your uh, power valve, uh, which I did show how to do that in a different video with your uh, wake-up dongle there. Um, but in any case, uh, there we are. All right, so now that it's been connected and paired with the bike, you can see some of the parameters that can be changed. And this is just the basic um, program on the module and there is a pro one that you can change uh, even uh, parameters even in more detailed fashion uh, but important to note here too that you actually will maintain a both a white and a green map like you had from the factory so there, you remember that that uh, you can push here to change the um, the riding features of the bike and how it feels and it'll still do that with this new reflash but now those will be both modified in and you can as mentioned earlier with this reflash module unlike if you send your ECU in you can change these parameters to some of the modifications that you have and in fact they even have some recommendations like increasing fuel by a, a few percent over time to help maintain the longevity um, of your top end, etc. So, um, pretty pretty nice features. A uh, little bit you can play with, um, and you know some of it is trial and error. But they they will respond to you if you email them to give you some advice on how to go about that. Uh, but pretty pretty nice piece of equipment. All right, so I've had a little time on the bike with the new ECU programmer and it's pretty amazing uh, it really makes a pretty big difference in terms of the feel of the bike it has quite a bit better throttle response um, and you know maybe not a whole lot different on the bottom it seems but you know mid to top definitely seems uh, more potent and it it is a more fun bike to ride um, now, important anytime you change your ECU in any way that you kind of monitor your spark plug with some regularity just to make sure that you're not running too lean. Uh, because if you're running too lean, that could put your engine at risk, especially in these premixed bikes because uh, oil is in the fuel. So, just kind of looking at the, the spark plug, make an assessment. You know, is it. Um, you know, looking you know, like you're having adding too much fuel slash oil is it looking like you're not have enough so just make sure you have a pretty good sense for that now there are charts you can look up online to get a visual representation of what is too lean too rich and what looks just right and those are pretty useful but in any case don't forget to pay attention to that but overall awesome product uh, glad i got it and we'll look forward to giving you more updates as I get a little more time on it.